Good morning, YouTube. This is Tom from Trianon Petite Miniatures. Today we're going to take a look at my Marie Antoinette collection that I'm listing for sale on my Etsy today. Today is April 1st, 2022. So we're going to start from the left to the right. Don't forget, if you like this video, please hit the like button as well as subscribe. I appreciate it and thank you. Starting on the right, this is a miniature reproduction of a French Venetian portrait. As you can see, she's holding a Venetian mask and she is dressed in 18th century attire. Behind that is a little easel. This is just a simple base wood easel that I made to fit this frame. The thing that I'm really crazy about, as you can probably see as I'm setting this picture down, is the uh, French bed with the sail de lis. This is the sail de lis. This was actually a kit that was a table kit and it arrived damaged and I held on to it forever thinking there's got to be a use for it someday. And guess what? This is the perfect use for it. This bed was an interesting bed. It was a component. The base was of one bed and then this area here was from another bed. And I thought, why waste two broken beds, let's marry them together and make a bed. So I stripped all the furniture and then I did kind of a, a whitewash pickling a walnut wood effect. And you can see here, those are actual gold leaf gilding effects and a couple different spots there. So I thought that that would look really sharp. I've made a bed similar to this before, um, but I wanted to kind of bump it up, take it to the next level. So the fabrics you can see here are uh, Marie Antoinette reproduction 18th century French fabrics and they have been scaled to a 112 size miniature. So they fit the proportions very nicely. Also along right here, this right here, and as you can see this trim here and the trim right here. I found this trim online from an antique dealer and this actual trim is from France, and it is 112 years old now. So this is very unique. Um, nobody else will have this type of trim because the spool is almost out. You can see the different colors. It's a blue, and it's a green, and a pink. It's just stunning and looks really beautiful against this French blue background. Back in here, there's another reproduction, 18th century French fabric. This is in a chinoiserie, kind of a toile, the ribbon floral. You can see some figures right here, birds, butterflies, floral. It's a, it's a lovely print. There's a lot going on. You can kind of see right here in one of the pillows that I made, um, some of the ribbon work and the floral spread. It looks nice. It adds a little contrast to the bed, which I was looking for. This also trim isn't some more of that trim that is over 112 years old from France. Again, I wanted to show a little bit of movement in the bed, so I created a swag. Now this swag detail is a fun draping technique. Same technique that was used for the draping on the seal de lis. You take your fabric, mix it in with a, um, at first, let me back up. You take a little bit of Elmer's glue, mix it in water, dilute it and then you soak your fabric in it and then using pins and saran wrap you drape uh, the fabric and you get this beautiful draping effect. So if I were to pick it up you can see it's it's quite stiff but laying as it is it creates movement. One of the other things I wanted to do is I wanted some tassels so you can see these tassels are handmade. Uh, they're of a beautiful kind of like a periwinkle uh, blue it, it, it's just stunning with the different fabrics. It brings out some of the blues and the other tones. And I also carried that on to this roll pillow motif here with this tassel. Now doing the tassels is not an easy task. It's very similar to tying a fly, um, if you're fly fishing, making fly fish. So that is the bed. I'll give you another little angle right here. Um, it's, it's kind of standing on its own merits for display purposes, but the back portion here has a, a wood area that you can use museum wax to affix it to the wall. Or if you want to, you could put push, push pins through the back headboard because it is padded. So you could do that as well. 
It's a beautiful piece. I just love it. I'm crazy about it. Uh, it is for sale, and I kind of hate to see it go. The next thing on the items is this cute little Versailles dresser. It's a little, I again, varnished it, did some antique um, coloring to it to kind of match, as you can see, the colors of the bed to carry that theme across. It does have claw feet on it, which I love. I think it just is beautiful. There's different little embellishments on the front. The drawers all do work. Um, it just is really beautiful. It goes lovely with with the bed. And I am selling the bed and the dresser together as a set. Next, we have this beautiful plinth or plant stand or stand. It's, it's a French pattern. Um, on top of that is a lovely stylized Marie Antoinette bust. It is not Marie Antoinette exactly. It is in the style of a Marie Antoinette bust. She's been painted and marbleized. This was a resin kit, or actually it was a resin piece that I painted um, using several different layers to layer the technique to give it that different textured color. The stand has been varnished and finished off, and then the gold accents are actually gold leafing. So I thought the gold leafing is a little bit crisper, a little bit sharper, and it really stands out. Sometimes when you use gold paint, it can dull, and it doesn't really look gold. So this really stands out, and it, it just pops. We're going to move a little bit to the front, and I'm going to show you the caned berger chair. This is a Louis-style cane berger chair. As you can see, this pillow comes out, this roll pillow, and... This other back pillow also comes out. You can really see the effect of the caning. It's square at the end, has beautiful sides. There's some, some more of the, the antique trim right there, as well as a little rope tie-off finish to kind of give it a little bit more of character. This, uh, this is a bed has also been antiqued to fit with the other, the other furniture, kind of keep everything in the same wood family theme. Um, I have also carried on to a beautiful Louis XVI footstool trimmed in the antique trim as well and gold leafed to kind of carry that gold leaf to the chair gold leafing. And what the heck, why don't we throw in a pair of beautiful slippers. These are uh, metal slippers that I found online and I painted them, embellished them, gave them kind of a red sole. We're not gonna say anything. Um, <laughs> so these these look really cute. It goes with the kind of the summer theme of Marie Antoinette, or excuse me, the spring theme of Marie Antoinette. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Next here is this lovely little dollhouse. Now this dollhouse, you could call it a dollhouse, you could call it a folly. Some people will call it a pavilion. Some people have referred to it as a chateau. It, it's probably more in the, the, the grounds of a pavilion or a folly than a chateau. Chateaus are usually multi-rooms. As you can see, it has beautiful details. It's kind of aged and weathered a little bit to look like it's been out in the France countryside for a while. Um, the mirror element that was painted in the front, that's a silvering to give it the illusion of glass. It's beautiful. Uh, it comes in four pieces, or actually five pieces, the floor and the walls and the roof. And uh, to marry them together, I used a little putty so you wouldn't see any gaps. I think it was important to not have gaps, give it one continuous piece. This is the inside of this. It's stunning. I did a kind of a, a, a sky motif in the front with gilding. You can see the gilding in there. There's some aging spots, gilding around the doors, the windows. Um, it's just it's just beautiful. It took a lot of work. It took a lot of patience. I had to put it down and come back to it several times. Uh, you can see it's kind of a little bit of a worn out uh, tiled floor. I thought that was pretty clever too. It's beautiful. Um, it looks great in a dollhouse setting, as you can see. I'm gonna shoot it over there. It's a perfect size. Um, sometimes you can put it on a table. 
I have seen them on, here I'll show you a, a gold-leafed Rococo style Demi Lune. This was a lot of fun to do. It was my first real attempt at gold leafing. As you can see, it fits perfectly on top of that. So it 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 is really cool to have. It, it just really polishes some things off and gives it a little bit more of an accessory. The other thing here is a cute little uh, dressing screen. I used some fabric. Again, this is reproduction 18th century French uh, fabric. It is in a chinoiserie motif. I thought it looked fun to do. This is made out of cardstock put together with some gold gilding and to make a nice screen. Now I followed the, the trend, or actually not the trend, but what was done in the past where people would not have hinges, so they'd use ribbon to affix it. So that's a fun way to do it. It makes a beautiful screen. Part of the Marie Antoinette setting. Here is a beautiful little um, cabinet that has fabrics in it. It's a beautiful French. You could use it as a curio cabinet or you could use it as a linen cabinet. I chose to make this into a linen cabinet stocked with linens. This does come with all the linens in there, as you see. So it kind of gives you some movement in the back. One door closes and one door is left open, kind of, so you can feel like it's being used. In the back is a dress mannequin, has some fabric samples there, some more fabric samples there for a dress, uh, a little bit of a skirting, some manufacturer uh, labels for the, the dress mannequin, some more right here. It's, it's fun, it isn't much, it's just something that looks really nice if you put it in the background. As you can see, it just completes a set. This is the last piece that I worked on. This is a French uh, dressing table or a vanity, and it's hand-painted. As you can see, there's hand-painted rose detail there. There is a hand-painted floral uh, ribbon motif on each of the sides. There's some of the a handmade mirror with a picture in there, some books. It comes with a dressing set and a set of perfume bottles in an oval mirror. This vanity mirror, it's a, it's a tilting vanity mirror, as you can see. Um, this was a kit that I put together. I gilded it, uh, made the candles, as you can see, give it some more detail so it looks like wax has been dripping. And why not throw in a strand of pearls sticking out of the little jewelry box at the bottom. To finish that off, I made a Louis XIV uh, medallion chair, side chair, with a ribbon accent at the top. It's finished off in another 18th century reproduction chinoiserie fabric. This one is more of a bird parrot motif. Uh, I love this. I thought this would be really nice, adding a little bit of, of a pink trim around it to create a really nice looking dressing set. This is what the back of the chair looks like. This has been antiqued as well to fit in with the motif and the color of the other uh, chairs in the collection. So this collection is for sale. Can I give you a wide shot in my photo booth here? It is for sale. It is on Etsy. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a comment. Again, I ask if you like this, please hit the like button, and I ask you to please subscribe. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.